He is one of my favorite people and has been for a long, long time. Sharon Stone, the Golden Globe and Emmy-winning actress, spokesperson for AMFAR, the Foundation for AIDS Research. You were here a year ago for the movie Bobby, and we're going to cover World AIDS Day, which this is, in a minute. A couple of other things. You're still sexy. You're not bad. <laughs> Single mom. How do you juggle your life? Okay, movies, mother, uh, children. Well, you know, like uh, all women, I think, we're just sort of born to it. I'm very lucky with my three kids and that I've been in the movie business for so long and that I've been able to use my fame for such great things. I'm lucky. And I'm in my 12th year with the American <clears throat> Foundation for AIDS Research, now the Global Foundation for AIDS Research. I remember. Playboy named you among the 25 sexiest stars of the century. You, you still like being a sex symbol? Yeah, it beats uh, not being a sex symbol, <laughs> I guess. Does getting approaching 50 scare you? You know, it did. I had a, I had a couple of weeks where I thought, Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> that's a big number. And then, you know, I started feeling really great about it, excited about it, and kind of, well, it's kind of a luminous uh, thing. It's uh, exciting now. And your love life, how's it going? It's not so bad. Oh. Want to tell us? No, I don't. <laughs> but you, you obviously, with that look, you like there's someone special. Yeah, kind of. Okay. We have an email question from Francis in Lawndale, California. Mm -hmm. Would you say that you have successfully balanced your priorities <laughs> between raising kids, making movies, and helping the research to cure AIDS? Um, yes, I think so. I do, because I think that the the main thing that happens when you have kids is that it adjusts the way you look at the world overall and i think it makes you feel very involved in the world in a, in a new way and it opens your heart very differently it makes you really see the future differently and want the world to be a better place for your kids movies in the works yes i have just been approved to direct a movie no kidding yes so i'm very excited about that what about being in a movie I'm going to be in that movie. In the movie you And direct. I have a couple of independent movies come out. One that's just been accepted at Sundance, so we're very excited about that. Now let's get to the subject at hand. This is the year anniversary of... Um uh, World this AIDS is World Day. AIDS Day. Why'd you get involved? In fact, the very first time that I worked with Amfar, I was in Cannes at the film festival in the south of France with a film I had there that was closing the festival, The Quick and the Dead. Oh, yeah. And um, that... Uh, they came to me, the people at Amfar, and said that Elizabeth Taylor was going to be unable to attend the event, and would I step in for her? Which, it's a little bit daunting when someone says, can you fill in for Elizabeth Taylor? <laughs> and I said that I would, but I had no idea how I would. And the night came, and I went, and I was very nervous, and I... I gave a talk about a night that the Make-A-Wish Foundation had come to me and said, a little girl would like you to grant her wish. And she was dying of AIDS. And I granted her wish, and I talked about that that night in Cannes. And people were very moved. And several days later, Dr. Krim, who heads the AMFAR, said, do you think you would take a position uh, for us for three years? And I took the position for three years thinking, in these three years, I'm really going to get something done. We have an email from Jessica in Springtown, Texas. What do you feel is the most rewarding thing about fighting to stop AIDS? Sharon? For me, it's seeing that where we went from even just when I started 12 years ago, where people were really silenced by shame, where families would... Uh, spurn the people that next to them and where people wouldn't touch each other and talk to each other. People are really communicating, loving each other, stepping forward. It's a very much talked about, uh, out, it's out in the light where even uh, politically now people are talking about it. It's something we can talk about on your show. It's something that people can say, I have AIDS, I know someone with AIDS, someone in my family has AIDS. It's something we, we just say the words now.